And, and when you were walking about on the moon, when you took those first hesitant steps, was anything uh, different uh, to what you expected it would be? Uh, it was very unusual the way the dust would uh, not cloud and would go out, radiate around, and then hit the ground. It had not occurred to me, nor to other people, I guess, uh, that it would be difficult to tell when we were standing perfectly upright. Uh, it was also very clear to see, looking out toward the horizon, that we were not on a flat, level terrain. No one could, can, could ever make a statement that the moon is flat the way that people thought that the Earth was flat. It was very obvious that it curved away. Uh, I was a little surprised when, in the midst of our initial activities on the surface, uh, Houston Control Center called and uh, told us to stand by for a minute that the president wanted to talk to us on the phone. And, uh, but it, it struck me as a little bit unusual that uh, we would stop doing what we were doing to uh, have a conversation with the president. And then when you saw the Earth as this uh, small blue ball uh, miles and miles away, uh, did you have any new thoughts about it? I don't think so. Uh, we had uh, kept in our minds for many years that we might one time in our lives be in this situation. And I think once selected for the mission, we had a lot of time to think about what our thoughts might be. And I don't recall uh, any spur of the moment uh, unusual thoughts. It did occur to me that, that as I looked up uh, to see the Earth, that it was uh, very small, even though intellectually I knew that it was four times larger in the sky than the moon appears to us at night. It still, since that was home, it, it looked rather small and a long ways away.